Hey, it's going to YouTube, so you know it's best here. Apple has finally released the iOS 4.2 software update for the iPhone iPod Touch, but most importantly, the iPad, which gets a lot of the features that the iPhone 4 has been enjoying for a long time here. So let's go ahead and jump right into all these new features. Now, the first thing that's probably the most important uh, feature added to the iPad is going to be multitasking. So if you double uh, tap the uh, home button here, you have all the list of applications that are running in the background. So I have Rage HD, which is a very intensive game, very uh, fun game here that you can play here. And it, that thing uses a lot of your resources on your iPad. You see it's not affecting performance at all. Uh, if I'm going to go to Game Center, I can go there. I can go to Pandora if I wanted to. I'm going to start playing some music. All right, so that's playing in the background now. And of course, you can slide all the way over to the left and actually pause the music if you wanted to. Uh, you can go to the application that's actually playing the music from here. And uh, you can control the volume now. And also, you can control the brightness if you wanted to right here just from that. No, I had to go into settings at all. Also, you can change the orientation lock so it's not going to rotate if you actually move the, uh, uh, the iPad in a different direction there. If you take that off, of course, it'll start moving again. And... Um, Another thing is the AirPlay button right here as well. So if you're playing any music or video, hit that AirPlay button. It'll push it to your Apple TV or whatever uh, other Apple device that you have here. But I'm going to do another video showing those details for uh, AirPlay for you guys. Um, now, next up is folders. So if I have this uh, racing game right here, simply tap and hold on it. And if I want to make another folder with Epic Citadel, which is another game, I can go and start creating a brand new games folder right there very easily. Of course, I can rename it if I wanted to. Hit that home button two times and they'll close that out. Now you have this folder here and you can organize a little bit better on the iPad. I think you have over 20 applications now in, in, in each individual folder, which makes for, room for a lot of applications for you guys out there. Now, another thing they're adding to this uh, uh, in this update is in Safari. Uh, so say you're in Safari and you want to find a keyword that's on the page. When you're looking for a specific word, um, you hit the Google search button or if it's Bing or whatever you use and hit that little search box up there. And uh, if I want to go ahead and search for Soldier Knows Best, yeah, I did that. And uh, now when I go here, go back here, it'll say find Soldier Knows Best. So I can find Soldier Knows Best on this page. It'll zoom in and highlight it in yellow. And I have uh, 28 matches here, so I can hit next and go to each individual match, uh, each of those match for that name there, whatever I'm looking for. So that's new so far. I just go to that search box for that. Now you can also add a uh, different font in notes, which again, a lot of people have been wanting for a long time. Uh, instead of having that marker type of font, which kind of suck, you go into notes into your settings, and now you can change the font in notes if you wanted to, just like that. Um, now, Game Center is now making its debut on the iPad as well, and Game Center really uses the real estate on the iPad very well. Everything works uh, very well in here. Everything looks pretty well presented here. It's taking a long time. I have over 300 friends at Game Center. That's probably why I'm trying to load all the information. Uh, but oh, that's the Game Center right there. It's trying to load up. <coughs> I'm trying to give it a break here, but you lose Game Center. I don't know what's taking you so long. And also, they also added the um, unified email. So you have all your multiple email clients. If you're using Gmail, Yahoo, MobileMe, you now have a unified inbox. So you can get all those inbox messages from all those email clients in one single timeline in your email, which is very welcome. It, it makes it a lot easier to uh, find and sort through your emails uh, there. Now, also uh, new for the iPad and also in the iOS update, um, uh, find my iPhone or find my iPad or find my iPod Touch or whatever is now free. I don't think it's iPod Touch, but anyway, uh, it's now free. And uh, so you can download that right now. You don't have to have a mobile me account at all. And also uh, in the iPhone, you do have uh, new SMS tones now instead of the original ones. Now you have more new SMS tones to have a difference. And also you can initiate FaceTime calls in a text message or uh, using FaceTime voiceover, which parade. I don't use that much. But you can uh, call somebody just by saying their name uh, in voiceover. And also you can now use uh, FaceTime with Bluetooth devices. So if you're on your iPhone, you can have a Bluetooth earpiece and actually communicate with them. So these are the new things for the iOS 4.2 update, especially on the iPad there and the iPhone. Again, I'm having another video showing you AirPlay it works. Uh, so if I already have that video up by that now, you'll probably see a little annotation link up there in the left-hand corner there. I think that's left hand. <laughs> anyway, left hand corner for you facing your computer screen to click that to go to that video. And I have a link at also at the end of the video here. So leave a comment down below about what you think about the new 4.2 software update. And thanks for watching you guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.